Now, these are all known formulas. Like you talk to any relationship expert, they will use this standard words. Forgiveness, acceptance, patience, perseverance, empathy, compassion. Great, easy to talk. But how do we implement those? You can implement those only when you experience those. When you become patient with yourself. When you forgive yourself. When you first accept yourself. Now, there is a, a, a drawback here. When you say accept yourself, a lot of people think, Oh, I'm going to be the way I am. I accept myself. I am rude. I am crazy. I am going to be like this. I have anger issues. I have this. I have that. I am going to stay like this. No, 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 no. That is not acceptance. Acceptance is accept for this moment how you are. Don't fight with yourself, but work on yourself. Very important to know this difference. There is a huge problem in the world today. People think, oh, I am the way I am, so I'm going to just live like this. There is something called a righteous way of living, which is an ancient wisdom called dharmic way. There are certain standards that were set the qualities of life, the values, morals and ethics which dictate us to live life in a certain way. Those are not like hard fast rules but the ways with which you can make your life beautiful and you can make others life beautiful as well. So acceptance is to accept the way you are right now, forgiving yourself for all the mistakes that you may have done and then start from there, May take make that as a starting point and work on yourself inventory make an inventory of what is there inside what is the good what is the bad what are your strengths what are your weakness and then work again this work is not that easy i know that you need someone to help you with that and that someone has to be able to work deeply inside not at a superficial fluff not just talking at a higher you know intellectual level and having like a set of formulas to work with no formulas no intellectual analysis will work here because ultimately when you touch your true self when you experience your true self when you experience that pure love within then you can give that pure love to others then you can show compassion to others so first step is to be able to understand now for that self love to be able to experience that love Self-love is very important. Now, self-love also is not that easy. I know that because when we do these workshops with Sunita Amma, you know, I see a lot of people struggle um, to do self-love because there are so much baggage, so many barriers, so many hurdles inside. Now, this is where this ancient yogic wisdom becomes very powerful. The whole ancient yogic wisdom is all about Working on the self, working layer by layer by layer, physical, mental, emotional and finally touching that soul, touching the true self. Only realizing the true self can make relationships better until and unless people catch the true self, which is nothing but an embodiment of love, we cannot build harmonious relationships. So, my dear friends, the solution for building harmonious relationships is to get to that subtlest of the subtle, purest of the pure, inner, divine, pure self or that soul or the spirit or Atma. When you experience that, when you make a relationship built on that foundation, then it doesn't matter because physical will fade away after a few years. Beauty will fade off, external beauty, right? Intellectual changes. Emotions change, we become more quieter, silent, but yet there is that strong connectivity between two people because they know who they are. They know that the connection is not at all these superficial levels, but deep inside at the soul level.